Hello everyone. My name is Kenevan Kumar. I am working at Techie Geek Hub Software Solutions as a Boomi developer. So in this video, I am going to explain about migration of deployed process from one environment to another environment using Boomi Atomspeed API. So before going to explain that, so let me explain about Boomi Atomspeed API. This Boomi Atomspeed API is one of the standard connector which is provided by the Boomi. And this connector is used to automate the flow. Like we can automate the package component, deploy package, and execute the process and process schedules. So these all are things we can automate using this Boomi Atomspeed API. So means it enables you to perform object-based actions. Like so these all are things we can be done with the help of objects. So because this Boomi Atomspeed API has multiple objects. So based on the objects, we can do multiple actions and it does not consume license. Means whenever this Boomi Atomspeed API, it won't affect uh, on license. So we can deploy our Boomi Atomspeed API connector multiple times. And these are the actions this Boomi Atomspeed API has, like get, create, query, execute, update, delete. So based on the actions, we have multiple objects are available. So these are the some of the objects so which are available in uh, Boomi Atmosphere API. One deployed package, environment extensions, package component, and process schedules, and trading partner. So this is about this Boomi Atmosphere API. So let me explain how to migrate this deployed process from one environment to another environment from Boomi platform. So this is the process which I have created to migration of this deployed process. So here I have used this Boomi Atmosphere API connector. Now we have to use any shape, whether that is a logic, execute, category shape. Simply we can drag and drop from the shape palette. So simply click on this Boomi, drag and drop the connector. You want to use any connector, so there are two components are required. So one is connection, and second one is operation. In order to configure a connection component, we have to provide this vestal URL, authentication type, username, and password or API token. So in the vestal URL, in the place of this account ID, we have to provide our Boomi account ID, and so this is the place we can select authentication type. So whether we can choose password or API token. So suppose if I choose this authentication type as a token, we have to generate a token in account level and we have to pass that token in this API token place. So otherwise, if I choose, if I otherwise, if I choose authentication type as a password, so here I need to pass this password of this particular account. And in place of username, we have to provide the username of this account. So once we pass all the details, so this is the place we can test the connection, whether the connection is successfully established or not. So, so this is the place where we can select the particular action, which action we are going to perform. So those actions we can select here. And so this is the operation component which we have to configure. So in order to configure this operation component, uh, click on this plus button. So here we have to import the operation component. So once we add all the details, so our Boomi Atmosphere API connector looks like this. So this is the connection part and this is the action. So this is the operation which I have imported. So before explaining this entire process, let me explain on this first step of the process. So in this process, uh, what I have implemented is uh, whenever we are migrating a deployed process from one environment to another environment, 
for the first time we have to fetch the particular deployments in a environment so for that i have used action as a query and in operation component i have used this deployed package object so in order to fetch the deployments so this deployed package will helps to fetch the particular deployments in a particular environment so uh, here in the filters from each environment i am going to fetch the deployed process so for that here i need to choose the environment id and here i need to select the active using uh, this active field will helps to fetch the current deployments it is like this environment id and the active value we have to pass in the parameters so the active value should be true so then only it will fetch the current deployments so let me test this process executed successfully just click on the stop button how many deployments currently have in your particular environment so in this environment there are two uh, deployed processor available so now my aim is i want to migrate these two deployed process from uh, this one environment to another environment so for that i have used one API connector so here in this api connector this connection component is similar to the first boomi atas api connector but here i have used this action as a create here i am creating deployed process from one environment to another environment so for that now we have to import the particular operation remember um, click on the operation component so it looks like this so the object is deployed package and the request profile is response profile are automatically create after successfully importing this particular deployed object uh, whenever we are trying to migrate the deployed process from one environment to another environment so here uh, in the target we have to provide deployment id component id and target environment id in order to pass these all details which i have used snap shape in the map shape i have configured this map component so in the map component source side i have selected uh, response profile of a first boomi atasper api connector in target i have configured request profile of a second boomi atasper api connector so from source to target i have configured deployment id component id and so this is the target environment id so in this environment i want to migrate the deployed process let me execute this process before executing the process so let me show you how many currently deployed process are available in my environment and what are the processes so in order to uh, see the particular deployed process so click on this manage tab and add a management option select the environment means source environment so this is the source environment here we can see these two processes are deployed ws ssl test process and test process now my aim is i want to migrate these two process from this navin's test environment to this kaji mirage test environment so here uh, there are no processor currently available so let me run this process from this process canvas so in order to run this process click on the test button and select our in uh, runtime engine yeah this process executed successfully so then again uh, go to atom management whether the processes are migrated successfully or not so this is the target environment which i have used 
to go to the deployed process. See, these two processes are successfully migrated from source to target. Thank you for watching this video.